Good day fellow teachers. In this video we will continue to talk about word building time lessons in terms 2 and 3. Let's begin by reviewing the main learning objectives in word building time. To teach pupils to connect the letters in level now with the sounds they make. To show pupils how to form the letters correctly. To teach children to segment a word, in other words, to hear a word and then say the individual sounds in the word in order to spell it correctly. To teach children to blend a word, in other words, to see a word and then sound out the individual letters of the word, blending them together to read the word. To drill common syllables and words until they are instantly recognizable to learners. In the video word building time above the line, we pointed out a gray line in the middle of the Prima page. This line divides the word building time lesson into two parts. The top portion of the lesson is teacher directed, while the bottom portion of the lesson is pupil directed. The Prima page is laid out so that you have a clear picture of the major steps in the word building time lessons. Step one, introduce and read the keyword for the week. Step two, break down and build up the keyword with this chart. Step three, introduce the key letter name, discuss the sound this letter makes, and teach the letter sign to help pupils link the keyword to the sound. Step four, practice forming the key letter. Step five, using the letter drill table to blend letter sounds to make words. And step six, using the syllable drill table to blend syllables to make words. There is one final step that you don't see in the Prima. That is the step when pupils demonstrate their competence by doing spelling practice with their teacher. We have discussed the four teacher-directed steps above the line. This video will outline how to teach the three steps below the line. Five, the letter drill table. Six, the syllable drill table. And seven, spelling practice. Why do we say that these steps are pupil-directed? Let's watch how Jimmy from Abaya Primary School teaches the letter drill table. After watching it, be prepared to explain why you think this was a pupil-directed activity. The letter drill table is introduced on Tuesday and reviewed on Wednesday and Thursday. Oh, <laughs> Notice that in this part of the lesson, Jimmy does not provide the answer to his pupils. He expects them to have learned the letter sound correspondence, and so all he does is to point to the letter and wait for their response. Can you explain now why we call this activity pupil directed? I'll ask your facilitator to pause this video now while you discuss it as a group. Now let's hear what Jimmy has to say about teaching the letter drill table. Below this line, we have this one we call the letter drill table. And our learners, uh, they, they just know as, as it, uh, they, they know this table as uh, in our local language, they say, major made one nukta. The teacher's role is just to guide, not to tell them what to do. The teacher just points. Okay, learners, now what is this sound? We have just looked at, we have, we have just looked at it from they say the segmenting part here. What is this sound? They say it. This one? They say it. First of all, the letter drill table, I tell them this table here consists of letter sounds. So when you learn these letter sounds, you are not going to have difficulties in what? In reading words. So 
they pick interest in those letter, letter sounds because they know it is from those sounds that they will what? read any word. Aman! Do you want to go to the car? Do you want to go to the car? Do you want to go to the car? What do you want to go to the car? Kau ini kau kongtung kau kering nyikop kau berdebat dia nukap tuh je, macam tu kau kering nyikop, kau tu kau kering apa? Nyikop. Coba dulu kau kering, nenek dulu kau, anjur Kristi. Ayah. Kau kering nyikop, 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 Blending is an important skill that pupils must learn. Blending is the ability to look at a word, say all the sounds of the word, and put them together to form the word. An easy way to teach children to blend letters to form words is to play the say it slow, say it fast game. Kopi, dua ni, dua ni. Eh ya, nak kerja apa ker? Tak kuat nengok. Kuat. Kuat nape? Kuat. Ah? Kuat. After the pupils have built new words, Jimmy asks learners to use the built words in a sentence or talk about the meaning of the built word. This helps. Develop the pupils vocabulary. Girl. 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 Uh -huh. Why okay. In story reading time, we talk about sight words. But here in word building time, pupils build words through blending called build words. What is the difference between a build word and a sight word? There is what we call sight words. These are words which we extract from the stories, the prima stories. So we keep on drilling these words. What is this word? They just recognize the shape. They may not necessarily know the, 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 letters, the, the letters in that word. With the build words, the learners can, can sound out the individual's letter in that sound. We call them build words because, first of all, we build them during word building time. Because they go to, the, as I was explaining, using the letter drill or the syllable bill, drill, they, they build those, those letters to form words. What, what can I tell? Do you want it? Go! Ah! Hmm! Boya, boya? Go! Ah! Hmm! Go! Ah! Go! Ah! Go! Ah! Go! Ah! Go! Ah! Ivan! Go! 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 After blending three to four words, Jimmy drills them with the pupil. So learners begin to read them by sight. Huh? 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 As Jimmy explained, a build word is one that a pupil can read by sounding out the letters. It's different from a sight word, which the pupils learn by memorizing the overall shape of the word. Over time, of course, build words should also become sight words. Blending letters to make words is the focus of letter drill table. If your pupils have a problem blending a word with three or more sounds, one suggestion is to start by blending the first two sounds and then adding the additional sounds one by one. It is also recommended that pupils say the letter sounds softly to themselves when they are blending a word, instead of shouting the sounds to the whole class. The child should be focused on hearing how the sounds come together to make a word in their mouth, not on saying the sounds loudly for the sake of the teacher. On Wednesday and Thursday, 
The teacher also works with a syllable drill table. The word for syllable in Levlao is syllable. A syllable is a unit of spoken language. A syllable represents a single uninterrupted sound. A syllable can be made up of either a single vowel, a, in the word a mum, or a combination of a vowel and one or more consonants, the mum in a mum. Syllables are sometimes called the building blocks of words. Teaching pupils to hear and identify a syllable is easy. Here are two simple methods. One, ask your pupils to put their hands under their jaws. Say a multisyllable word. Have the pupils count how many times their jaw drops. Ah, uh, mom. Two, tell pupils you are going to say a word and you'll make a clap for each syllable. Say a two-syllable word like or which. Make a clap for or. And a second clap for which. Demonstrate with the several more one, two, and three syllable words. When pupils begin to understand how to count syllables, let them do it without your help. The syllable drill table activities is identical to the letter drill table activity. The only difference is that learners blend the syllable to build multisyllable words. It's likely that your pupils will not be able to read all the syllables in the drill table when you introduce it on Wednesday. When you point to a syllable and your pupils don't respond, this is a great opportunity to help them practice their blending. Remember, this is a pupil-led activity. So you don't just tell them the syllable. Instead, have them say the sounds for each of the letters in the syllable until they can read it. Just like you do with the letter drill table. In our revised model for teaching word building time, we no longer use hyphens to separate the syllables, only spaces. As you watch this lesson, try to picture Jimmy only putting spaces between the syllables as he practices the syllable drill table with his pupils. After learners have built several multisyllable words, have them read the multisyllable build words on the chalkboard and identify how many syllables are in each word. First, they should read the word segmenting it into syllables, then they should read it as a whole word. On Wednesday, the focus will be on introducing the syllable drill table 
and creating one to three multisyllable words. On Thursday, the teacher reviews the syllable drill table and builds several more multisyllable words. The final step in the word building time lesson from Tuesday to Thursday is spelling practice. This gives the teacher an opportunity to observe pupils' competence in sounding out words. Jimmy begins by erasing the build words from the chalkboard and telling learners they are going to practice spelling. In term two, Jimmy's pupils use their slates for spelling practice. In term three, they use their exercise books. Jimmy selects from three to five words for spelling practice, depending on the amount of time he has. He says a word aloud, then moves around the class observing pupils as they write. <laughs> After about one minute, teacher writes correct spelling of the word on the chalkboard and asks learners to compare the word on the chalkboard with the word they have written. The teacher repeats this procedure until class almost finished. Gara. Teacher concludes the lesson by asking the learners to read aloud the words they have written. The Friday word building time lesson is full of games. The games are designed to help pupils revise what they have learned during the week in a fun and participatory way. On this day, the teacher distributes the primers and draws on the chalkboard. Now, this is where most of the time is spent in the, the letter drill table and then the syllable drill table. Because this one is a kind of game where you ask the learner, first of all, ask the teacher, first of all, ask the learner to identify the, the, the letter drill table. When the learners have identified, they now, the teacher now says a, 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 a letter sound. Like for example, the teacher says, ga. Okay, can you find the letter? The teacher moves around, he gets a child who is pointing at the correct sound. Okay, you are pointing at, at it correctly. Go to the chalkboard, point to the sound. The, 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 the child points to the correct letter from the chalkboard. The teacher also gives her or him the opportunity to say any letter from here without pointing. The child may say, eh. Okay, learners, have you heard? Do you repeat again? Eh, okay. Find for Akelo, find for her, they sound eh. Ay. 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 Aya, a man you know that can then come look to me and can do that he could be what do I need? Okay, nigga. Okay, nigga. Aya, you want me to do that he chima? No, come on. Eh, see me, cause he will, he will, cause he will. Chima, why we bow? Look to know and know. Oti, come on. Eh, you do that he nene, no can do that he could be what? You might not have enough time to do all six letters and four build words in the eight minutes assigned to this game. Just select two to three letters and two to three build words to review. Uh -huh. Mm. 
kiti chima pe iti nchi chima ana neno kiti me iti chimu kere mi ana te kwenyi ah nen me na kwa wana nar kwa yema te e biweri chimu wakong jo nen kita ena chimu kere atim beti oti ya huma kwa yema te Kau dah hikau wanyi kau bukan nama wan orang mukeri meja wakane ni, ha? Aha, kau bni rem, kau bni ngah? Ayah, cojo cimi, cima. Ayah, cojo kau dong nen meja wan mesti labol, lahir nen meja wan mesti labol. Jadi nen kan mom? Jadi anak kau bihu dua nama ti meja mesti labol lah ciel, mau bedo? Ga. After that, Semi plays the syllable drill table game. The game is played exactly the same as the letter drill table game. Your name ngai wey wo chimo. Tia ho. Chima bear. Aha. Mani wey do ko bi wa do. Do an no kena metika no. Aha. La her ko bi jo. Koninga. And again, there is not enough time to do all the syllables and build words in the eight minutes assigned to this game. Just select two to three of each. After the games, it is now time for the weekly spelling test. Semi distributes individual sheets from an exercise book and tells learners to write their names at the top of the page. The chalkboard during this activity should be blank. Select three one-syllable words and two multi-syllable words for the spelling test. These must be words the learners have learned during the week. On Friday, you don't show learners the correct spelling of the word as it is a test. See, Mary. Huh? Aha. Ma giki Mary miti choya ni logo. 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 When the test is completed, Semi collects them for assessment. She marks pupils' spelling tests and returns it to them on Monday. Teachers should use the grading system established for the parent report cards. B A. All five words spelled correctly. B B. Three to four words spelled correctly. A A. Zero to two words spelled correctly. Semi asks all pupils who misspell a word to rewrite the word correctly three to five times on their spelling test and return it to her. Let's review quickly the three instructional elements of word building time below the line. One, the letter drill table. Two, the syllable drill table. Three, the spelling practice or Friday spelling test. I hope that you now better understand how to manage your word building time lessons. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.